The concluding day of the summit on Tuesday was shrouded in intense anxiety, turning what was initially intended as a diplomatic celebration into a fiery dispute centered around the ongoing war in Ukraine. Ursula von der Leyen's announcement of her commitment to strike a 45 billion euros, 38 billion pounds, deal with Latin American nations has sparked fury in Europe. Leaders of the Brussels bloc are meeting with their Latin American counterparts this week to strike a much-anticipated deal between the two blocs. But as the EU Commission vowed its commitment to the agreement, critics in the EU have pointed out the whopping €45 billion, Euros, £38 billion pounds, pledge would come as a slap in the face for EU taxpayers. In a note sent to Express, Italian MEP Alessandro Panza said, I learned today from Ursula von der Leyen's announcements of the EU's intention to invest 45 billion in Latin America. This is undoubtedly excellent news, for Latin America of course. We would like to know where the European Commission intends to get this money to build, among other things, a subway line in Colombia or guarantee universal access to energy in Panama, naturally as well as from the pockets of Italian and European taxpayers. I am sure that they are all worthy works which must certainly be supported, but since on more than one occasion we have come up against a lack of funds for the territories, it is legitimate to ask whether these are the priorities for the EU, really not is there any country or region in Europe that needs more urgently those resources, the fruit of our money. Amidst the tireless efforts of ambassadors working through the night and into the early hours of Tuesday morning, reaching consensus on even the mildest condemnatory statements regarding Russia's invasion of Ukraine proved to be a challenging undertaking. The inclusion of certain Central and South American nations, such as Cuba, Venezuela, and Nicaragua, expressing reservations further fueled contentious deliberations.